Uh, sure sign of the apocalypse that the Raiders are in first place. Uh, should I even say that's good Broncos this week? Nah. Hey everybody, uh, welcome to That's Good Broncos. I am Brandon Perna. And yeah, the Broncos just got the... They got the shit kicked out of them by the Oakland Raiders on Sunday Night Football for the entire world to see. Now, did the whole world watch? No, that's impossible. So that's some good news. Let's start out with the good news. Uh, the Raiders beat the Broncos 30 to 20. And even though that score suggests the game was kind of close, it wasn't. The Broncos offense looked horrible to bad to shitty again and I think that was the big concern coming into this game I was at least very concerned about the offense being able to uh, keep up with the Raiders offense because the Raiders offense is very good we knew they were going to score some points but the Broncos offense did their defense zero favors during that game started off with four three and outs to start the game I believe the the Broncos' average starting field position in this game was go fuck ourselves. That was technically the the number that Collinsworth gave at the end of the game. Go fuck ourselves. So, yeah, it felt like the Broncos were backed up the entire evening and that they, they weren't running the ball well. Um, receivers were dropping passes. Trevor Simeon played not great, but not as horrible as many people <coughs> on some Broncos blog are going to want to say he did. But there, the real issue right now is there are too many issues with the Broncos offense. Last year, they got away with it because the defense played the best football we've ever seen for an entire season of football. Tonight, the defense was banged up. There's no Aqib Tlaib, and that really affected this team because Bradley Roby, who played great last week, did not have a good game. Um, Brandon Marshall, not 100%. Derek Wolf leaves the game with uh, an elbow injury. We need to know more about that because he may miss some time. Kayvon Webster's not in there. Um, so you're limited on your corners. You call in Torian Nixon. Um, you know, so you're, you're just, the defense is stretched thin. With Kayvon out, that affects special teams because everybody knows that if Kayvon Webster is covering punts, Riley Dixon punts just a tiny bit better. He does it for Kayvon. Uh, the Raiders had 221 rushing, or over 220 rush yards on the game to Denver's 33. That's crazy. I don't care if the defense is banged up, and I don't care if they are getting zero help from their offense. You cannot allow an opposing team who's known for their passing attack to rush 221 yards uh, on you. I think they held Derek Carr for under 200 yards, and uh, the Broncos were pinned on the two-yard line like twice by Marquette King who, by the way, had the best celebrations after his punts I've ever seen. He really upped the punting celebration game quite a bit. So the issues moving forward that you're going to be talking about, or you're going to be hearing people talk about, uh, offensive coordinator Rick Dennison, is he doing anything to help this team? Trevor Simeon, is he getting worse? Or should you put in Paxton Lynch? Is it even all of Trevor's fault? I don't think so. You had a lot of guys drop some passes early that could have really helped out your quarterback. Sure, is he gonna make all the plays? No, but he's a young quarterback. Just like Paxton Lynch is a young quarterback, wouldn't be making all the plays in there. To say that he's the only problem right now is insane. Will the running game ever get going behind the Broncos offensive line? We don't know. That's a very good question. And the most the most important question, is it still enough for us to know that once Jack Del Rio left, the Broncos defense turned into the best defense we've ever seen? 
How long can we hold that above Jack Del Rio's head if he fucking takes first place in the AFC West? I don't know, but I don't like Jack Del Rio anymore. I used to like him. Now I hate him. I hate Jack Del Rio now. Is that fair to him? No. But I do. I hate his guts. And is the defense going to be able to get healthy enough to carry this team? The AFC West is very competitive. We thought it would be, and it is. The Chiefs are good. The Raiders are good. The Broncos, they have some weaknesses. Um, Brandon McMahon has played pretty fucking good, though. 55-yard uh, field goal and a 44-yard field goal. If they would have won, he could have gotten maybe the Big Dick Player Award. Capri Bibbs. Late had a 69 yard touchdown, but he also refused to kneel it in the end zone early on, which really hurt the Broncos defense uh, because the kick returns were bad. Again, another reason the Broncos offense, uh, their starting field position was uh, go fuck ourselves so frequently were because they were returning kicks out of the end zone and getting to like the 10 yard line and then punting it to midfield. So a lot of things went wrong. I don't know if we can expect this offense to be good this season. They need offensive line help. They need play calling help. They need quarterback help. They need running back help. They need tight end help. And our big stars, our big receivers, don't always make the plays they need to make. Oakland's receivers made three fucking amazing catches. Three of them that they shouldn't have caught the ball and they did. Emmanuel Sanders could have made a, a, a tough, but very catchable ball that would have been a touchdown. Demarius Thomas had one great catch. He also had a couple drops. Virgil Green had a couple drops. AJ Derby dropped his first pass. So, what's gonna happen? We don't know. Maybe, maybe it's time I try out. And I haven't lifted a weight in two months. Thanks for watching. That's good, Broncos. I apologize that the Broncos lost. I feel like it's my fault. Uh, Alan and Alan Sharp and I were watching the game together, and we hadn't done that this season. And the Broncos played their worst game. As soon as Alan Sharp left, Cabri Bib scores a 69-yard touchdown. I don't know. So you know, subscribe here to me on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter because win or lose, we can have some fun on Twitter during the games. Thank you. I love you. Don't cry. Don't cry too much tonight. Don't cry too much tonight knowing the Raiders just took first place.